I'm Michelle Wagner with Pharmaceutical Manufacturing. I'm here today at the AAPS show in Chicago at the Brookfield Engineering Labs with Bob McGregor, who is the Global Marketing Manager. Thanks so much for joining us. A pleasure, Michelle. And you have the Powder Flow Tester here. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure. The Powder Flow Tester is an instrument used by industry to predict the flowability of powder in gravity discharge from hoppers. Hoppers will contain powder and they'll bring the powder through a converging hopper section and out a hole in the bottom. The powder flow tester is intended to give its users the ability to tell whether a formulation will actually discharge from the hopper reliably. The big issue that industry has is the ability of powders to create arches or rat holes in the powder, which in turn prevents the reliable discharge of the powder, perhaps during a tablet press run. So these are very important issues for powder formulators. And what's unique about this powder flow tester as opposed to others in the industry? This type of a powder flow tester is called a shear cell. Shear cells have been around for a very long time, but up to this point they've been very expensive to purchase. They've required a trained technician to operate. The data that they get out of them has been complicated and requires some assistance in the analysis. And the length of time it takes to run a test has been very long, usually on the order of several hours, perhaps a half day, maybe even a day. So this instrument is less expensive, significantly. It's easier to operate. The actual test time is very reduced and it has features built into the software that allow for the automatic analysis of the data. Can you show us how this works? I'd love to. Okay, should I begin? Yes. This piece right here is called the lid and it's got little pockets in it and it attaches to the instrument in this way. This item right here is called the trough, and this is where the powder sample goes. I'm going to load the sample now and then put it onto the instrument and show you how the instrument works. So it doesn't matter if the product runs over on this, right? Exactly. The powder is going into the trough primarily, but then the overspill is going into the outer catch tray or into the inner catch tray. Then I take this little blade and I go around and around like that and create a nice little mound all the way around, scoop off the excess, pull this out, pull this off, and my sample is ready to go right here. So I can just load this onto the instrument as it is and we're in business. So Michelle, sample is loaded. I'll put the outer catch tray back on just in case there is any that slips out during the test itself. Okay. All I have to do now is push a button on my personal computer, which is loaded with software that will run the test automatically. And within 45 minutes, I've got a complete set of data for what we call the flow function, which is physically how the powder will behave. That's great, that does look very easy. Now, how does this help address some quality control issues? The big challenge for quality control is the consistency of the powder from batch to batch. But as we all know, formulators are constantly substituting new materials, different sources for raw ingredients. And what you want to know is that any substitution or any change is going to give the same guaranteed performance in terms of flowability of the powder. The only way that they can do it up to this point is to run it in the process and live with whatever headaches come out of it. Now they've got a predictive tool that can tell them beforehand whether it's got the same flow behavior before they even start the process. Okay, and if, where can our readers find additional information? What's your website? I suggest they come to brookfieldengineering.com. That's the place where you'll find all the information or give us a call. Perfect. Thank you so much, Bob. I appreciate it. Thanks, Michelle. I hope you buy one for Christmas. <laughs>